Hello and welcome in this video. In this video, I am going to talk about MA call to action element. So I hope you have already logged in your website dashboard and open your Elementor page builder. Now let's just uh, drag this MA call to action element to this area and it will show you the demo call to action by default. Okay, this is the default call to action system. Here you can see the content title and CTA content and then description. It's a CTA content and it's the description, then the button text and then the URL or link. And from this link option, you can open this in a new tab and add a nofollow attribute within the link. Let's jump to the style area. And here you can see this little preset that there are total four, five, six, seven. Seven SL preset. Let me show you how this seven SL preset really looks like. For example, let me click on this style two. And here we go. This is the style two. And then let's select the style three. Here you see border color. That means this one. And if I change the border color, okay, it works. And then let me select the style 4. Okay, double border color. And then background color. It's the default background color. You can change it from this option. And let me select the gradient background. And then I have to select the gradient color, of course. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, this is how it actually work and of course you have to change the text color otherwise it will not visible by this turkish color and then let's move with the gradient with icon okay here we go and you can see this bell icon it's the gradient with icon variation and now let's navigate to title area and title color let's change it to white because it's not readable and then let's play with some typography set the font okay and then we took okay, 300 hmm. none perfect and then description style let's change the description color to with a brighter one okay and then typography so it's and set font 18 with 300 or 400 and line height 2 okay and let's move into the button style there are two style normal style and hover style for normal style let's change the button test color to okay black one and let's change the background color to the brighter one okay and let's navigate to hover area and change the text color to white and the background color uh, should be dark one okay maybe this one perfect let's just hover now okay and i hope you can understand how to work with this call to action element a power master adults plugin